on this book's ending. I personally found it sad how Bella and Julia basically became sexual objects for all the priests. So I think because the story is like originally written in the 1800s, that's kind of the whole point. Like it's the progressive progressiveness of like how men have full control over women and like from start to finish. At the beginning of the book, they are both described as virgins. And in the 1800s, if you're a virgin, you're pure, and men love that. And then it just gets to the point where they get tainted by the idea of men touching them is the best thing in the world. And so when they go join the Carventry, it's kind of this idea of like, okay, well, you think that they're safe. You think that they are going to become nuns. You think they're going to repent for their sins. That sort of deal, like, even though... The two of them literally had no control over losing their virginity or no control on their first sexual experience. So for the ending, it's kind of like that symbolism that you must do what you're told. And like, I think the whole point in the book, like, it's it's supposed to disgust most audiences now. Like, in the 1800s, it was probably normal for this sort of stuff to happen. In the 1800s. It, it's probably, you know, like I said, just normal. But having the flea describe it, they knew it wasn't normal. They knew raping a 14, 16 year old wasn't normal. They knew priests um, defacing themselves probably wasn't normal. Which, in again, a, a group of priests coming after two young women. We all know now that that's not normal. Um... But yeah, no, I the the book is definitely interesting to read. Uh, the ending is definitely sad because it's just that whole point of they literally had no control. They're just doing what they're told. They're being led by these men who are supposed to trust them and and care for them and put them on the righteous path. And yeah, no.